and welcome back to Salty and Sweet. My name is Sarah. And my name is Hermes, and today we are going to France. France. We'd like to thank our friend Lori, Serge, and Lola for getting us all these snacks from when they went to France. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. French pastries are some of my favorite. So I cannot wait to see what kind of treats we have in yeah, the future. Yeah, these are completely unknown to me. I have never seen any of these brands, and that's what excites me a lot. Um, before we get started, please make sure to like, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell because we want to grow. Let us grow. With all that said, let's dig in. We have Wat Wu. Um, Wat Wu Petits Donuts Choco Noisette. These donuts are petits. I'm bad at pronouncing French. I've had friends from Montreal try to teach me how to speak French. Just did not work. It's just not in my mouth. What's gonna be in my mouth are these petites donuts though. So we can't wait for that. I'm super excited. I freaking love donuts. Oh, 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 oh. They're in little wrappers. Oh, look at that. Oh, they are donuts. Oh, they're like little cakes. They, they're more like cakes. They look more like little round cakes. In this side, it kind of looks like a bagel, though. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be filled with soft chocolate. This is such a good snack cake. Really? I guess I have to get used to it. It has this, like, floral flavor to it, whatever that is. Nuts on top? I don't taste it at all. It's good. It's a really moist cake. The chocolate was only on half of it, but the chocolate is really good. Mm hmm I think you could sell these at a bodega per package, like for a quarter each, you'd make a killing. It's definitely more of a yellow cake rather than a donut, but I'm all in for these. I'm giving it a dangerous. I'm giving it a delicious. Lutti Flexi Fees. So this is, it looks like ribbon candy, right? Is that what it is? Is that what it's called? Ribbon candy? It looks like it's gonna be a sour kind of a it does. ordeal. It looks like we've got a lot from Lutti and it is a French and Belgian company. Definitely smells like a ribbon candy. It's great. At least it's already cut up for you. Mm-hmm. Which is nice. Is it strawberry? I don't know. Flexi fizz. It's just red. It's interesting that it says veggie on it. I think they don't use gelatin on any of their stuff because they all say it. Where do you see veggie? Right here. Oh, wow. So maybe this is vegan friendly. It kind of just tastes like a ribbon candy. Mm -hmm. I like that it's cut up, although this kind of makes it a little dangerous because since it is cut up, you're just like, oh, I'm finished with that. I'm just going to keep eating it. They're not too sour. They're the perfect amount of sour. And they've got a nice soft gumminess to them mm -hmm. too, which is really good. There's nothing fizzy about it though, I'd have to say. No, <laughs> but I'm going to go delicious. I really like these in the movie theater when I'm watching mm -hmm. a movie. They're great. I like this. This is going to be delicious. <laughs> I can't speak today. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> so we have another from Ludi. Um, now it's the long fizz, so I'm guessing it's the longer version of the ones that we had before. Although, this does say cola, so maybe the other one had cola in it too, but I don't really taste no, the cola. No, this is definitely different flavors. Look at how many colors I, there are. No, for sure, yeah, but... I I'm just saying. The brown one is cola oh, it's flavored. It's like fruits and cola. So I'm going to try the cola one because yeah. that's what I'm really interested in. I'm curious about it too. So it's not as short as oh, the wait, should we share? Oh. fizz. No, I'm, there's no sharing here. Well, I didn't. I want to know. I also want to know if the orange one is going to be like orange soda or just orange. But I don't know what the difference would be. Okay. It tastes like Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like the, gum, the Coca-Cola bottle gummies. It was a little more intense, I think. Yeah. Because it's sour. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is sour. I like this. This is delicious. I'll have one more and call it a day. <laughs> I'll try a different flavor one. I'm gonna try the orange. How is the red? The red is just like the red that I had before. Mm. These are thinner than the Flexi Fizz too. Mm-hmm. They're like making a mess everywhere. Always. These are definitely more sour than the Flexi Fizz. And they're really tasty. Yeah. Delicious. Might be a little too sour, but I think it's delicious. Okay, we have Vico Dixie Riche and Tomate. So I don't know what this is. They look like little tomato puff balls. Oh, they're so little and cute. Yeah, they look like they could go on cereal. 
on cereal? Or they could be cereal. They could go in milk. I don't really smell the tomato. I have a little bit of a tomato flavor, but we've had tomato flavored things that have a stronger flavor. This is kind of like tomato flared bomba. Oh yeah, it's like a corn snack. <gasps> but it like almost has this peanut butter taste to it. I don't know. Have I need we to had, try two more. Have we had dishes that had peanut butter and tomato sauce in it? Mm -mm. No, right? Well, this is kind of what it tastes like. It oddly works. It does. It's such a weird pairing. It does taste like a nutty tomato sauce. Maybe it's like a nutty cheese. I don't know. I, I don't even know how to rate this, to be honest. Because it's not bad. It's not bad. Like, it's not decent either. It's a decent delicious, because I would still eat the whole bag. We're not supposed to go decent delicious anymore. Steve said so. It's fine. <laughs> We're going decent delicious because we would eat the bag, but we probably wouldn't go out of our way to buy it again. Yeah. This is weird. So, yeah, decent delicious. <laughs> we have another one from Luti. Um, Arle Queen. Um, original. This is sans gelatine too. So there's no gelatin. It's very uh, vegan friendly. Yeah. This is one of their older snacks. And I think it's the same as what we call a Harlequin. I mean, I, I kind of like this as a hard candy. Mm-hmm, I do. Hmm? I don't really love it. Really? Mm-mm. It's got this like... It tastes like something. Yeah, it has like some weird lemon in it. Lemon, but it has like a specific candy flavor that I've had before. It's oh, you like know what it is? It's like the candy, candy canes. It's like candy canes that are fruity flavored. Which is not bad. I would say this is decent for Arlequin. It was pretty sour. It's getting more sour. So are you changing your, your, your pick? No, I'm going decent. <laughs> okay. Reflets de France, Nougat de Montelimar, Tendra. So this is nougat candy. I think Lori said she picked these up in the south of France. Mm. I don't know if it's region specific or not though. I've always wanted to visit France. Especially the south of France. I've been to Paris. Whoop. Like Nice. But I really want to go to the countryside of France. We. Oui. It's we. Oui. We. Oui. As in yes. So this is nougat. And it comes with peanuts. It's a lot softer than oh, some really of the soft. other nougat I've had. And it has like a very thin wafer on the top and bottom, mm -hmm. which is nice. So it's not like sticky to touch. But it's a great nougat. I think I do like it a little bit more firm maybe, but. It's very south of France. <laughs> You're transported. Not really, but <laughs> it is good. I like it. I would say this is delicious. The the flavor is not so sweet though. It's very subtle. And then the peanut taste kind of like comes out like very slowly, but it's great. I like it. That's what I like about it. It's just like salty peanuts, but it's all about the texture. I'm also giving it a delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Michelle and Augustine, Le Troubillon du Gout. <laughs> Goat cheese? Uh, yeah, it's petites. Bure, bure, Roquefort, oh, um, well, so it's Roquefort cheese. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're crackers. Roquefort. Roquefort? Wait, can we admire this package? Look. I don't care about the package. I care about this snack. It goes into like it's a quite, nice little. It's quite heavy. The cracker is very cheesy. Mm-hmm. It's like. You know, like a most. Oh, yeah. Go on. No, go ahead. It's like the most gourmet, mature cheese it I've ever had. Well, I was gonna say, it's like you know if you smell a pungent cheese, but you could smell it in your mouth. <laughs> That's what it kind of tastes like. It's a pungent cheese. I mean, yes, it is definitely a pungent cheese. But well, it's good. I think it's delicious. It's a very hefty biscuit with like a big. Crunch, which I just made mess up. Um, and it has little poppy seeds in it too. I love it. I love the taste. And <laughs> this company makes those like the sweet biscuits with the little chocolate on it. It's so good too. Don't know what those are, but I think these are definitely addicting mm -hmm. if you love cheese. I would go delicious though. 
but I could see someone going dangerous for it. I mean, delicious, dangerous, because I love cheese. I'm probably spitting it everywhere. Yeah. I really like them. They're great. So we have Carambar, Caramoellos. Apparently, according to our friend Lori, that this is not the original. She was kind of bummed out that she couldn't get the original. She said that she'll get us the original eventually if she ever goes back to France again. Ah. So, can't wait to try this out because I love caramels. You love mellows. I love marshmallows. So we'll try it. And chocolate. Also, once again, apologizing to any French people out there because... Our pronunciation is just... It's trash. Atrocious. It's super trash. Whoa. Ooh. Okay, very soft, very yeah, so light. So is it going to be a caramel flavored marshmallow? I think so. I feel like for people who like marshmallow, they would like this. But the caramel is a weird flavor to me. It's not that strong of a caramel flavor. No, it's a weird caramel flavor. I don't know. It's pretty tasty. Really? I think I'm good for now. I think I'm gonna go decent for this one. I could see how this would have like a nostalgic flavor to it. Because it tastes nostalgic as in like it tastes old. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I just think of marshmallow candies as being nostalgic. I like that it's marshmallow in a candy so you can just like kind of pop them. For I'm sure. I'm somewhere, I'm a decent delicious I guess. You and your halves. I'm doing halves today. Steve's gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. This is Brits. Hey Brit, it's a uh, poulet brasier. Brasé? I'm guessing Braise. it's like a roasted It's roasted chicken. chicken. It's roasted chicken flavored chips. And it's got ridges. And it's really cute little drawings on the back. Eat them. Yeah, it happy. has the history of it, but it's in French. So we don't understand it. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh, are you no longer it excited? Like, no. <gasps> Fred is excited. Let's see how this tastes. Let's go. <laughs> wow. wow. They're very crunchy. That is the crunchiest ruffles chip I've ever had. Ridged. I think you could really taste the chicken flavor here. The roasted chicken. I think I'm obsessed with these. They're pretty good. It's not as in your face. It's very mm -hmm. subtle, but it's it's good. It's so good. It is. It's a roast chicken, but it also tastes like a potato chip at the same time. Mm -hmm. I would definitely it's such say. Such a good crispy. I'm going dangerous. Oh wow. Yeah, I would go with dangerous too. It's really good. I really love them. crispy. Wow. Steve and Sarah are super happy for this. This is Lulu. Uh, phrase, the it's mini rule, this roll, and it, it's phrase, fraise, fraise. That's a French. Uh, is it uh, strawberry? That's French for strawberry. Okay. I always thought it was strawberry. No. Ah! Feel it. You could feel how soft it is. Love a snack cake. Love a snack cake. You could smell it through the package. Mm -hmm. I actually oh, don't know if I was that excited for this because I feel like the fruit ones, you just never know what it's going to be like, if it's going to be really, I don't like the like fake fruit flavors very much. Yeah, I know, but I mean, this I'm looks... never excited about fruit rolls like this, but oh, I kind of am. It smells am. good. It looks great. And it looks good. You know what? It doesn't look like it has artificial coloring because like the color of the strawberry looks like just strawberry jam. It's not like super bright. It reminds me of a Fig Newton mm -hmm. if it wasn't stuffed with figs and Newtons, but stuffed with strawberries. Also those um, Nutri-Grain bars. Remember those? Sure. It's like that, but with um, cake <laughs> instead of whole wheat. It tastes just like a Nutri-Grain bar. It's really good. I think this is delicious. I think it's delicious too. It's a really soft cake. Mm -hmm. It's a nice natural strawberry. Very nice. Phrase. So I'm gonna say that I think France is Packaging is not the best I've ever seen because everything tasted amazing, but none of it looked like it was going to taste that good on the outside. <laughs> but then that kind of was better because you had lower expectations. But I really loved a lot of these treats that we had today. Is that how the French run things then? It's like, here, here's something that looks like trash, but you might like it. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, 
I enjoyed myself. This was very tasty. Man, once again, thank you Lori, Lola, and Serge for all of this. Yeah. This was awesome. And this is only part one of a part right. two. They got us so many more snacks. I can't believe that Lori lugged them all back from France. I know. So a million thanks to you. She does do like, what is that? Like the triathlons. So she could she could carry anyone. She could carry all three of us. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yeah. And with all that said, au revoir. Take it away, friend. Hey, hey you. Like and subscribe. That's it. What is a Newton? I don't know. <laughs> a Fig Newton. He says, it tastes like a Fig Newton. <laughs> if, they, <laughs> if there was a fig. If they weren't stuffed with figs or Newtons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want Newtons in there.